Hey guys, Samson at Bricks here, and I'm just doing a bit of a winter uh, haul um, with some new sets that I got over the last few days. Um, that I bought all these at uh, different stores while I was on vacation this week. Um, I'm just going to start with the two that I got that were older, that were like clearance type things. First of all, I got. Like a movie 2, Sweet Mayhem's Sistar Starship. This is the biggest set I actually got too, just because there's a lot of little things here. Um, I got this on clearance at Toys R Us mostly because I've been. This is the last Like a movie 2 set I wanted to get. And they were running a promotion where all their stuff that was on clearance was an additional 30% off, so I paid like $40 for this. So that's pretty exciting. And then the other old set I got. Unfortunately, I did pay full price for this, but uh, I've been meaning to get it for a while. I mean, I didn't want to pay full price for it because it's not that impressive, but I did get the uh, General Grievous Combat Speeder from 2018. I, you know, unfortunately... Uh, let's see if I can focus here. Pretty much just got it for the two figures. Um, I don't know. I was, like, I wanted to get it at the beginning of the month for the... 20th anniversary Obi-Wan, because it was still on there, but it sold out by the time I went to get it, so I got it now. When it comes to new sets, first of all, get the Iron Man mech from the Avengers line. Put that there, because it's already open. And I got two of the Captain Marvel poly bags, one to actually have the set for, and the other to have extra figure pieces for customization. I'm gonna make uh, Yon Rog with that second torso. Um, what's next? I didn't end up tracking down the Mandalorian battle pack. That one's also already open. I tracked down the Sith Trooper Battle Pack. Unfortunately, I didn't get Duel on Mustafar, which is uh, one of my most anticipated sets of the new year, so I'll be trying to track that down in the next little bit. Um. I'm not going to show it here because I've already opened them, but they're everywhere. I did get a complete set of the DC CMF minifigs. I went and got them immediately as soon as I found them. Uh, and then I got a second Simon Baz for the extra lantern and extra ring pieces so I can outfit the other three green lanterns I have with rings and lanterns. Um, and then the last three sets I have that are still, I haven't gotten into yet, the Thanos mech, because, like, I bought some of these, some of these I bought on Tuesday when I first went up on my trip, I got the battle packs and the Iron Man and the figures, I bought that on the first day, um, and then everything was closed for Christmas, uh, and then I went back and got the Thanos mech, because I really loved the Iron Man mech when I built it, um, and along with that, you can pretty much guess the next thing in that sense. I went ahead last night and bought the Spider-Man mech just to be done with the mechs because I think they're really cool. So it's kind of nice that it's not even 2020 yet. And I already have the Impulse sets for Marvel and the Battle Packs for Star Wars and the entire DC, uh, every DC set coming out in January. And then the last set here, I ended up getting one last Star Wars 2020 set because I was I it was just sad that I couldn't find Duel on Mustafar, so I ended up getting the Junior Snowspeeder. I actually really like the way that Snowspeeder looks. I think it's my favorite out of the four uh, iconic Juniorized vehicles. That or the Tie Fighter because I did I did end up buying two of the Tie Fighters this year because I just think they're pretty good scale wise. Um, yeah, it really came down to the Snowspeeder and Wedge and Tilly's. I really like the character. 
So it's nice to finally have an official updated. I have the original 2006 one, but it's nice to have an updated one. Anyway, that was a lot of money uh, that I've spent in the last few days. Um, so I'm going to be cautious throughout January, although I am going to be getting Dulan Mustafar as soon as I find it, and the Kylo Ren Micro Fighter as soon as I find it. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's my uh, haul for the last little bit. Uh, if you want to like the video and uh, you want to comment on anything else that you've gotten recently that uh, is cool, new sets or otherwise, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, and I will see you guys in the next time. Uh, actually, just going to make one last little update to the haul video. Didn't expect this to happen, but I went into my Walmart, which is... I, I was away on vacation for the most of this haul. I went to my Walmart, which is notorious for, like, being incredibly slow. And I saw Obi-Wan's hut on the shelf, and it was the only one there. So that And there was no price tag, so it led me to believe there might be more somewhere. Walked all around the toy section, and eventually I found my grail. Duel on Mustafar, which was the last set I was looking for, for right now. I'm going to get some other ones eventually, but right now I really do need to uh, cut back. I spent quite a lot of money on this haul, um, but I had to get this set as soon as I saw it. And I don't know if I'm the only one that has this. I'll have to look at some other boxes, but to me it just seems like Anakin's face is like squished in on that image. I don't know, just a funny thing to end the haul off on. So yeah, so again... Uh, if you want to share any of your recent hauls in the comments, I'd like to see, I'd like to hear from you. Um, hope you enjoyed this little haul roundup, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.